hello. Yes, am I through to New Market Islamic Cultural Centre? New Market Islamic Cultural Centre? Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, great. Um, I watched a video on, on YouTube about Islamic prayer. And I've just got some some questions about it. If it's if it's possible for somebody to help me, please. You want to upload some Islamic uh, uh, information on the YouTube? No, I watched a YouTube video. I've read some pamphlets, and I've looked at some other videos. Um, I want to know more about Islamic prayer. C could somebody help me? Are you able to help me? Yes, of course, yes, of course, yes. Yes. Is, is it somehow possible that uh, maybe we can see you personally? No. No, no, I, I'm, it's more convenient for me on the phone. I don't have a, I don't have a car. I don't have transport. Okay, okay, okay. What is it you're, you want to know, sir? Um, well, during the five daily prayers... <clears throat> Um, where you pray facing Mecca, um, you go on your knees and your head touches the ground. Is it true that at one point of that prayer you say, Peace be upon you, O Prophet? Yes, on part of the complete prayer, on that there is a, a, a prayer um, a, in the favor of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Right. When you say, peace be upon you, O Prophet, the pronoun you would surely mean that you're actually addressing Muhammad in prayer, surely? No, the address in the prayer is completely to Allah Ta'ala, who is the creator, sustainer. And we are making the prayer in fa for the favor on Prophet Muhammad and peace to be on him from the creator, Allah Ta'ala. The prayer is never addressing to anyone else apart from Allah Ta'ala. I mean, why, why don't you say in the prayer, peace be upon him, the Prophet? Why do you say, peace be upon you, O Prophet? Wouldn't When you say, peace be upon you, you use the pronoun no, you in peace Arabic. Be upon you. We say, peace be upon him. We are addressing to Allah Ta'ala. Yeah. And let's say, I'm addressing to someone. And I'm doing prayer for, you know, asking favor for someone. You said, I asked you, do you pray peace be upon you, O Prophet? And you said yes. And I've asked other Muslim people at other mosques, do you pray peace be upon you, O Prophet? And they said yes. No one no, has yet not, told that's me. Not, that's not right. You know, the exact uh, meaning of the, uh, you know, you will get the book of uh, oh. what do what is read during the prayer I the translation of which is yes oh allah how mercy and blessing on prophet muhammad in the same way as you had mercy and uh, favor onto prophet ibrahim and his children this is how <laughs> the nearest meaning of what we read well, I'd certainly, I certainly, I have looked online to find out the translation of the Arabic in the prayers, but I've been unable to find that. Okay, okay. <coughs> sorry, a little bit of tea went down the wrong way, I'm sorry. Um, when, you, when you pray in this documentary, The Sacred City... Um, Western scholars have, have gone and they looked at mosques all over the world. They looked at the foundations of mosques and they've looked at ruined mosques. Uh, and they've used um, satellite technology to find out exactly where the mosque is in the world and which direction the Qibla, the direction of prayer, is facing. And when I watched this documentary, The Sacred City... They said that for the first century of Islam, all of the mosques, roughly for the first century, they face Petra, not Jerusalem. And then after about a century, some began to face Mecca, some began to continue to face Petra, some faced between Petra and Mecca. 
and some just kept the <clears throat> sorry I had some tea and it went down the wrong way and some some kept the angle between Petra and Mecca for instance the mosque in Cordoba in Spain uh, actually faces what, South what, Africa. What I know what I know that all the mosques today's date are facing towards the Mecca I know that. This is the current situation. Uh, you know, it's very... There I are know multiple that. different uh, theories and, uh, you know, history as far as you go back, you will find different uh, uh, theories on it. So, you know, from as far as I know, this is uh, how it is. Can you... I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I know they face Mecca today. That's, that's not relevant to my question. Um, from the roughly 200 years... Uh, uh, of the Islamic history, all the mosques face Mecca, roughly, two, two, two hundred years. Um, but for the first century, they all face Petra. For instance, the Humayyad Mosque. Um, so, you know, if you, go to, if you go through the history of Islam, you will get to you know a better picture of uh, what had happened in the past. But, uh, you know, it's not well, that you need easy to prove for me the to history. give you explanation over the telephone about the history of Islam. If you have, let's say, some basic question, something you want to know, that's easy for me to explain you, rather than, uh, you know, going into uh, something which is like a deep subject. Yeah. Um, the, um, you would need to prove what you, what you say to me from history. It's no good just telling me that. I don't have to accept that unless it can be proven to be true. Um, the the, hum, the Humeya Mosque is part of the Umayyad Palace, the first Islamic dynasty. It was built about 700 AD. It's now in ruins and it, it's in southern Jordan. It's about 27 miles from Petra. And the Qibla, the direction of prayer, faces, faces Petra. That's, that's, one, that's one example. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that's recent scholarship, that's recent Western scholarship that's, that's been studying Kibler directions. And this, 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 um, people began to ask questions about this, first of all, in the 1970s, but it kind of became made public to the uh, about it became known to the public about 20 20 years ago um okay can i can you give me a favor sir i will yes. i will give you a call back later on or yes. you can give me a call i'm in the middle of uh you know doing something yes you give then, you give uh, me a ring you with your question, yeah you give me a ring but it's convenient for me to send me a text of the precise time you're going to call me thank you very much sir bye-bye Bye.